you know, the Kung Fu school here. <laughs> yes, and also a class, uh, he also has a classmate in the Hu Tuan. So, uh, he was growing up here. And also the, you know the Cheng Long, uh, Jack Chen. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes, um, and uh, she, uh, hey, I'm sorry, he bought a uh, quadrangles in the, um, in this hotel ever, and it cost him one, let me see, uh, 1 yi, one, yi, 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 you know, one and eight zero. One eight zero. One and eight zeros is, uh, yes. aren't uh, 100 million? Yes, uh, 100 million. Yeah, yes. yeah, 100 yeah, million. 100 million. Wow. And, and, but, you know, um, in this area, it's about one, one per, per square meter and 200,000 yuan per square meter in this area. It's very expensive. You know what this? Yeah. Uh, actually, this was double happiness. Why well, is double happiness? Because this, this was happiness. And, uh, and this was also happiness. So two happiness, double happiness. And when people get married or they have something to celebrate, they use this. Mm. Okay, go inside, please. We will visit this family. Okay, take care. This, this room was for cats. What's that? Oh, yes. Room cats. Um, cat's room. <laughs> cats are good huh? luck? Yes. They're good luck kitties. You know, there were some cats, you know, use this gesture. The cats use this uh -huh. gesture, you know that? Yes. Yes. That was uh, uh, for for money. Money come here. Money come here. Just like this. <laughs> <laughs> that was money cat. But this room uh, totally just for cat. You know, this cat very have a very luxury life. <laughs> in this area, in this area, per square meter to uh, to hundred thousand yuan. But the cats have their own room. I just cannot believe it. You know, actually, they are playing my own. The first, the first thing, ni hao to you. Ni hao. You know, in China, um, say ni hao. You know what that it means? Chilama. Chilama. You can try to say it. Chilama. Chilama. Yes, chilama. Chilama. Yes, when you see each other, you can use that to greet each other. Chilama, which means have you eaten. Ah. <laughs> you know, in ancient China, the people um, always have a poor life and they sometimes they are hungry. And when people meet each other, they are worrying about whether, whether others have, uh, have their lunch or dinner. So they just, uh, will, they just ask, have you eaten? Yes. So that's oh. Actually, they have some rabbits. Uh, today, maybe it's time for them to go. So. Okay, we Chilama. Again, Chilama. Uh, sometimes when a lot of visitors come here, they are shy and they will keep silent. And when people go, when people come and they will say bye bye, bye bye, <laughs> holding the gate so you uh, go out for a uh, quick. Chilama. Oh, that has such a strange voice. Uh, minor birds. <laughs> what are they? Minor birds. Minor birds? Yes. Yeah, they're, I think they talk better than most birds, actually. Really? They, yeah, they're they're some of the best talking birds. Yeah, and, and Easiest to train to talk, I think. In some birds, you know, the birds the birds can say one word, and the birds can say two words have different price. Yeah. Wow. And uh, 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 there was also some birds. I seen some birds uh, have um, the the owner of the birds teach the bird the bird to say um um pijo. You know, pijo means drink beer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> And you know, in ancient days, the people look down upon someone who is doing business. So the men, um, in, tra uh, in ancient days, the men just uh, stay at home and do nothing, just uh, playing, um, playing the birds, insect. Uh, you know, the insect, we, the Beijingers are good at uh, fighting cricket. cricket. Ah, okay. Crickets okay. and birds, and sometimes the flowers. And and grass, even grass. So they just stay at home, stay at home because they don't have anything to do. They just doing these very lavish things. 
So that's their life. So so nowadays, even nowadays, the people are no longer look down upon business. But still, people like these kind of things and like collections. So we can go inside and see their see their collection. Actually, this was a, this family was a Buddhism family. Okay. Mm, Buddhism. And if you want, we can take, oh, we can sit here and have a rest. I'll tell you something about this, this house. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> they want to make some decoration in their house, maybe. Exactly, yes. Have a rest. Yeah, actually this house has a long history from this wall, you can see. They have, they have made some white things here, but still you can see this house was very old. And they live here generation by generation. And they are uh, the owner. Uh, actually, she she is the owner. In these two are the gates. She is the owner, and behind you uh, was their daughter. Oh, yes, the daughter get married uh, less than a month. So you see the gesture, double happiness. Yes. That was because her daughter get married, okay. and huh? that was her son-in-law. Uh -huh. So. They are newly married, and behind you, that was some uh, some uh, some gays who bring some little gift from all around the world. It's a lot of hair, and the owner pressures it, so it uh, so they put it there. Oh. <laughs> ah, yeah, I don't have any money on me. I should have had that. I wish I would have bought some. I had some from my uh, friends here. Yeah, and if, if you like them yet, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. You are not allowed. You not allowed. And I mean that you need you. It depends on you. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yes. Uh. <laughs> it doesn't matter. And um, I want to show you that the, you know in ancient days when people get married, their mother or where if if I get married, my mother will give me some jewelry. Mm -hmm. So this this uh, this was the jewelry from the owners, uh, the Holtres, Holtres parents. Okay. So you know in China when we get married, girls need to go to the boys' house. Is that the same in your country? <laughs> it's, um, they don't do dowries anymore. They used to. They used to have dowry, yeah. but, but when you get married, you need the girl went to the boys' house. More often. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, it Sometimes. depends. Usually they try to move out and go to their own house. Go uh, apartment own house. Or, or something like that. Then usually they wind up getting broke and they move in with one of the other parents. <laughs> oh, yeah. When they broke, they, went to, they go home for their own parents, right? <laughs> yes. And the, the same, but, but, you know, actually, most, in most uh, occasions, when Chinese get married, is a... Um, the boys, the boys side, you know, the boys side would would uh, would pro uh, would provide the uh, the department oh, okay. and house. Yes, and uh, this uh, you know actually in the Chinese quadrangle, just I told you, just now I told you the quadrangles, and this was the north room of the quadrangle, north room. Okay. And north room means the best room. You can guess by yourself because we are on the north, uh, the north part of the earth. So the uh, the north room can get the sun. And in winter, during winter, it's much warmer uh, than the south room or other rooms. And during the summer, it's much cool than other rooms. So it was the best room. Mm -hmm. And it ha also have the good feng shui. In Chinese feng shui, what, uh, you know, the north belongs to water. And water can water can make more wealth. I told you, yeah? Yes. So the, the west room is the, the north room, the best room. And it was for the uh, first son. And also the parents of the house, mm, of the, their family. The east room was for the boys, west room for the girls, south room. The south room was for servants, and study room, drawing room, but uh, seldom the family members seldom live there. So that, that's the quadrangles. And mm. they also believe that the, you know, the east belongs to wood. So the kitchen mm -hmm. always put in the east side. Inside of the quadrangle, so they believe that the wood can make fire, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so the kitchen always on the east. Uh, that is something about Chinese feng shui. Mm -hmm. But now this and uh, this part was the uh, south room it was not south room, the north room, most important room. But they uh, they are not the whole quadrangle. So you can see it was half part of a quadrangle. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. And the other part belongs to a different family. Okay. Yes. So how old is this area? Uh, this, uh, this area? Or and this, this, uh, this building? Or this, this, this building actually more than 100 years. Oh. Yes, the, they are the fourth generation. And this was the fourth generation. Oh. And that, the girl, the fourth generation. Okay. Yes. So. This is very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want it, you can have a look about uh, the bathroom. Yeah, the bathroom. Yes. Oh, yeah. the windows. Oh, wow. Well. And th that, th you know, this picture was uh, the owner, was the owner when they got married many years ago. And that picture was their daughter's ma uh, wedding uh. picture. Yeah. Is the the white she she was wearing a white dress? Yes. And her daughter was wearing green. Is it more is it uh the people still wear white dresses for weddings or is it more different colors? Yeah, more different colors nowadays. You yeah. know, in ancient days people think that the red color is the best color. So when they get married they they will they will wear the red color things. But mm -hmm. but now people may be like the dress. The wedding dress, so they like the sometimes wear the white color, mm -hmm. but uh, the white color in China is not auspicious, uh, not auspicious. Uh, uh, when so people with uh, help something bad, they will wear the uh, like a uh, yes, uh, wear yes. white color things. But nowadays, um, just because of the Western culture come to China, uh -huh. so a lot of people they also like their their wedding to be uh, very romantic. And they think that is a, you know, the long dress. The ball gown, yes. yes, very beautiful. So they use it. In ancient China, we have the, you know, how to say, the silk, the dress made of silk, and a very, you know, very, uh, very, very tight. Yes, very tight. Do you know what we, what they, we call that? Uh, uh, made of silk. Karl Marx, Lenin, and Mao. And uh, that was very Chinese, very traditional. And just this long, <coughs> and there was something here. Mm. And can't make it open here. Yeah. Make it open oh, and Marx, a very dress from Stalin, here to here. Mao. And a very tight. Oh, yeah. oh. You know? Um, maybe I can uh, I can ask her. You know, she she is our my colleague, also mm. our trainee. She probably won't show it. And she will check. And, okay, the fourth screen, you can see. The fourth screen. Mm -hmm. Almost every family have the fourth screen in China. This screen. Um, okay, now this is four seasons. How to tell which is which season are they? Four seasons. Right? This, this was snow. <laughs> snow. Yeah, winter. Yes, winter. winter. It was a fall. Yes, fall. Uh, spring. Spring and summer is different mm -hmm. to jail. Yeah, it's hard to tell on that. I guess that's spring. The, it looks yeah, like the it leaves are full of all around. Uh, actually, there was some character on the top. Th this was means uh, spring, summer, water, and winter. Yes. And yeah. uh, th this yeah, for you. New Year works for them. Yeah. Exactly. New Year. Yeah, in, uh, yes, New Year New was the spring festival. Yeah, it starts with spring, and then from there it it goes to summer, and then fall, and then 